Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Sierra Nevada and someone actually commented on one of the channels, or on the channel, this channel, sorry, and uh, mentioned that the Hoptimum came out and they reviewed it and they liked it this year. So Hoptimum is back and literally just found it today. This was bottled, Jesus Christ, really? Five weeks ago? God damn. Five weeks ago. All right. I mean, I've been, I've been going to the stores. I try to go to like every week. So maybe this is four weeks fresh, but five weeks is as fresh as I, I mean, if it dropped by last week, so yeah, sure. Um, anyway, this is their big triple IPA. This one rolls in at, oh, geez, terrible about this, 10 six. And um, yeah, they do it every year. It's their most intensely hoppy beer. I think I reviewed the last time two years ago when they had a different label for this one. So let's dig into it. Uh, beer is quite dark, yeah. <laughs> Uh, does not look like, you know, traditional IPA or, uh, yeah, darker than traditional IPA and also, I'd say, um, completely different from obviously New England, but uh, the beer really comes in kind of a medium, yeah, medium amber color, like purely amber, amber to deep amber even, yeah. Medium amber, yeah, I'd say. Uh, Off-white head on that. I mean, it smells like what I remember. It's piney. It's um, almost like... It's almost like a little bit like that kind of like pine salt terpene thing that I had in some of those other beers, but it's sweet, sticky. It's got that kind of like rich, bready sweetness that um, a lot of the Sierra Nevada beers have, but also that kind of just rich kind of like, I guess these fresh hops. So it has a little bit of that kind of just, I guess I have a signature signature note. It's slightly minty, it's slightly piney, it's a little bit pine salty. All those green flavors, a little bit of grapefruit here. So it's pretty decent and also just like a little bit dank as well. So. Get the underneath kind of earthy dank note, but yeah, it's got a nice amount of like ripe grapefruit. Oh yeah, and yeah, there's that um, just like diesely dank thing. Yeah, big diesely dank, wow. It's all that together. I suspect it's not at the best condition. Warm shelf for at least a few weeks, and then, you know, shipped over here, but... Um, Pretty good shape though. Like at least like it's not it, it's not as peak as what I expect, but it's also not ruined. Five weeks in, this is pretty much as good as I'm gonna get in Florida, right? Uh, at least that's my ex expectations. This is a shame, but still. Up front, this beer is that classic Sierra Nevada combination of bitter and sweet. It's that classic West Coast thing. It's bitter. It's piney. It's diesely. It's quite bitter. Um, has a nice kind of like again that crystal malt backbone. So it's that kind of like caramelized um, brulee. Um, Bitter grapefruit flavor. Mm -hmm. Boozy. So it's boozy, dry with that diesel thing, which is really interesting because there's, there's an alcohol note with it that also hits with that kind of like gasoline diesel thing. And the beer, uh, the beer dries out pretty nicely with some bitterness and alcohol. Wow. Fun, dangerous beer, yeah. Really, it's on the side of that kind of just like, it's got a lot of this kind of just big dankness to it. Leaning a little bit towards what, what heady topper sort of tastes like, at, at least the, the diesel part, like the beer really is not heady at all, but has a lot of that diesel dank thing. It's just like, I like those flavors. This is up, for, up the alley for you. Boozy, dry, lightly sweet. It tastes a little bit of fruit now. As I drink it more, I get a little bit of that kind of like, almost like overripe pineapple, a little bit of that ripe grapefruit, but bitter throughout. Yeah, if, if this is what you're looking for, it, it does its job. It's, it's for people that really want that classic, like, I'm trying to think of a year, like um, 2011, <laughs> yeah, 2011 beer, you know, 2010, where like bitterness, booze, and all this like, you know, punch in the face kind of stuff was uh, <laughs> what people wanted. Now they just want juice bombs. And even at triple IPA ABV, they want the juice bombs. Uh, this is more of that kind of just like diesel dank, West Coast, it's got that malt structure to it, dry, boozy. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's it's classic for what it is. Um, honestly, I think probably my palate has shifted a little bit towards this kind of beer, but this is for sure like a flight to half poor beer. Like there's no reason for the full bottle of this, I feel. It's just very intense, yeah. Yeah, it's just very intense. Um, this for me, hmm, it's got a little bit of sticky sweetness to it. It's nice, yeah, I, I think it's fun. It's one of those things that is just like unique and like you sort of need to re revisit it to sort of remind yourself of what like West Coast Amplified sort of tastes like, right? It's got that sweetness, it's got that dankness, it's got the Sierra Nevada flavor. It's just like, 
it's iconic. And, and you know, every year you drink a bottle and then you're like, all right, or maybe you share a bottle and then you're like, all right, let's move on. And then you palate, you, again, it's a bit about um, palate resetting and sort of just like, you know, remind yourself like, oh, wow, you drink haze all the time. You have no clue what bitterness tastes like. You have no clue what like dry West Coast 10.6% 10, 10. tastes like. It's like good to like, just like sit here and go like, all right, that's what it tastes like. Um, rambling. I like it. Yeah. 87. 87. It does what it does and it does it pretty well. That's all I got to say. 87 B plus. Again, not right up there up my alley, but it just does what it does. That's, that's sort of how I, I, I describe it. So if, if you guys can um, put that more eloquently in the comments below, please do post in comments below what you think about this beer. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.